Congratulations, and welcome to the world of HPI radio-controlled model cars. You have chosen one of our class-leading model cars, which guarantees hours of entertainment and education for all types of motorsports fans, young and old. If you simply want to know how a car like this works, you want to play, or even race, you're going to have lots of fun. We recommend watching this general getting started video first. It will show you all the general things you need to know about HPI RC cars. You will find more information about your car in the specific video tutorial for your model on this DVD. We will show you different cars in this section now, but the principles are the same for almost all RC cars. The HPI RC Cars DVD will guide you into the world of radio controlled cars and how to get the best from your HPI model, but it's still essential to read the detailed instruction manual included in the box. In all our manuals, you will find a list of items you will need that are not included in the kit. For example, tools or accessories, such as screwdrivers, pliers, a hobby knife, and instant adhesive, also known as CA glue. Please keep hold of your instruction manual. You will be sure to need it at some stage in the future, as the instruction manual accurately details the assembly of your model. The individual steps are based on each other, so please make sure to follow the order laid out in the manual to assist when maintenance is required. Actual size drawings help you to easily identify the parts used in each step. HPI RC cars are available in two versions, ready to run, also known as RTR, or self-assemble kits. With a kit, you will build your car from scratch with the parts included in the box. The manual will show step-by-step -step how to assemble the car. Very few steps are necessary to complete ready-to-run cars. However, before starting your model and before every run, we recommend a quick check over the car and retightening the screws as required. Pay special attention to the wheel nuts. You will need batteries for your model. The type of batteries depends on your model. All cars will need AA batteries for the transmitter. For the highest reliability, we recommend rechargeable batteries, which are widely available with dedicated chargers. Always follow the manufacturer's charging advice for the type of batteries you use. Always ensure the transmitter batteries are fully charged before each run and observe the correct polarity when inserting them into the transmitter. Nitro cars will also need batteries to power the receiver. For a better steering response, we recommend dedicated HPI hump packs. AA batteries can also be used in the supplied battery tray. Again, always follow the manufacturer's charging advice for the type of batteries you use. Also for nitro cars, you will need a glow plug igniter to start the car. We recommend HPI rechargeable glow plug igniters, which come with a matching charger. For electric cars, and for nitro cars with the rotor start system fitted, you will need a 7.2 volt stick pack. This type of battery pack consists of six sub-C batteries. Different types of battery packs with different capacities are widely available. Higher capacity batteries give you longer runtime. The HPI overnight charger is reasonably priced and a good charger to start with. If you want to reduce charging time, fast chargers are available. These charge battery packs in under an hour. The first charge for all batteries is best done overnight, so think ahead. To prevent the tires from coming loose while driving, they have to be glued to the wheels with instant adhesive. Tires in RTR cars are pre-glued at the factory. But for kits, new tires, or maintenance, you might need to glue them on. Always use thin adhesive and observe the safety instructions on the packaging. Start with the outside of all four wheels. Lift the tire slightly off the wheel and apply a drop of glue to the opening and let it run around the wheel. Turn the wheel slightly and apply another drop.
After the glue is dried on the outside, repeat the gluing procedure on the inside of the tires. The principle is exactly the same for off-road and on-road tires. Once you're using the car, it is worth checking your tires from time to time to make sure they remain securely glued to the wheels. For an efficient transmission, the gear mesh needs to be adjusted correctly. RTR cars will come factory assembled, but it's a good idea to check the gear mesh from time to time. Test the gear meshing by turning the gears with your hands. There should be a little gap between the gears and a little play, as shown here. The mesh should not be too tight, but not too loose either.